Hello everyone, welcome to Hydropower. Today, in this lecture we will talk about the hydraulic tunnels, geometrical shapes, hydraulic design, tunneling method, supports in tunnels, lining of tunnels, so let's start. Hydraulic tunnels, a deep dive. Hydraulic tunnels are underground conduits designed to transport water for various purposes, such as irrigation, drinking water supply, hydroelectric power generation, or flood control. These tunnels play a major role in managing and harnessing water resources. Let's discover the fascinating world of hydraulic tunnels and their crucial role in managing and harnessing water resources. Geometrical Shapes of Hydraulic Tunnels Hydraulic tunnels can take various geometrical shapes, each chosen based on project-specific requirements, circular tunnels. Circular tunnels provide structural stability and hydraulic efficiency, making them ideal for a wide range of flow rates and velocities. Horseshoe tunnels. Horseshoe-shaped tunnels offer additional headroom and clearance, accommodating larger conveyance volumes when needed. Rectangular or trapezoidal tunnels. Rectangular or trapezoidal tunnels match existing terrain or infrastructure, such as aqueducts, providing a specific geometric shape. Egg-shaped tunnel. Egg-shaped tunnels have a cross-section resembling an elongated egg. They are designed to optimize flow characteristics, reduce sediment deposition, and minimize flow resistance, making them suitable for sanitary sewers and stormwater tunnels. Arch tunnel. Arch-shaped tunnels have a semicircular or arched top with a flat bottom. They are commonly used in architectural or aesthetic applications and can also be practical for small flow conveyance. D-shaped tunnel. D-shaped tunnels have a cross-section resembling the letter D with a flat bottom and a curved top. They can be used for various purposes, including stormwater management and wastewater conveyance. Modified shapes. Some hydropower tunnels may have modified geometries that optimize hydraulic efficiency and minimize energy losses. These shapes are designed to meet specific project requirements. The choice of tunnel shape in hydropower projects depends on the hydraulic efficiency needed to transport water to turbines, manage sediment transport, and maintain structural integrity. Engineers and designers carefully evaluate these factors to select the most suitable tunnel geometry for each specific project. Hydraulic design of tunnels. The hydraulic design of tunnels focuses on optimizing flow characteristics to ensure efficient and reliable water conveyance. Velocity profile. Engineers optimize the tunnel's cross-sectional shape and size to achieve a well-designed velocity profile, ensuring smooth flow and minimizing turbulence. Sizing. Tunnel sizing considers factors like flow rate, velocity, sediment transport, and hydraulic efficiency, balancing conveyance capacity and construction costs. AOB. The other parameters that need to be considered while designing the hydraulic turbines are Flow velocity determination. Calculate the required flow velocity based on project-specific criteria, such as flow rates, sediment transport capacity, and energy losses. Cross-sectional shape selection. Choose a suitable cross-sectional shape that aligns with the desired velocity and hydraulic efficiency. Tunnel diameter or size calculation. Use hydraulic calculations to determine the tunnel's diameter or size, ensuring it corresponds to the target flow velocity and cross-sectional area requirements. Manning's Roughness Coefficient Consider the Manning's Roughness Coefficient based on tunnel lining material to account for hydraulic resistance in velocity calculations. Gradient and Slope Definition Specify the tunnel's slope or gradient to control flow velocity, aligning it with project requirements while minimizing energy losses. Velocity distribution control. Ensure the design results in a controlled and uniform velocity distribution along the tunnel's length to minimize turbulence and energy losses. Hydraulic control structures. Incorporate structures like gates, valves, and diffusers to regulate flow velocity within the tunnel, achieving the desired velocity and controlling pressure changes. Sediment transport considerations. Account for sediment transport requirements in the design to minimize sediment deposition and ensure efficient flushing, preventing blockages. Cavitation mitigation. Implement measures to mitigate cavitation risks by controlling flow velocities and pressures within the tunnel, protecting tunnel linings and equipment. Emergency preparedness. Include provisions for managing excess flow or emergencies, such as spillways, pressure relief systems, or diversion channels, to safeguard tunnel integrity during unexpected events. Computational modeling use. 
utilize computational fluid dynamics simulations and hydraulic modeling software to analyze and optimize tunnel designs, ensuring that flow velocities meet project requirements. Environmental considerations. Address environmental impacts, especially those affecting aquatic ecosystems. Incorporate measures for fish migration, water quality, and ecological flow requirements. Monitoring and maintenance planning. Develop a plan for ongoing tunnel monitoring and maintenance to ensure continued compliance with hydraulic performance standards and structural integrity. Tunneling methods. The construction of hydraulic tunnels involves various methods, depending on geological conditions. Tunnel boring machines. Advanced machines that excavate tunnels through rock or soil, simultaneously digging and installing tunnel linings for efficient construction. Drill and blast. A conventional method involving drilling boreholes, filling them with explosives, and blasting to create tunnels, suitable for hard rock conditions. Micro-tunneling. Micro-tunneling is a small-scale, guided trenchless method used for sewer and utility tunneling. It employs a micro-tunnel boring machine to excavate and install the tunnel simultaneously. Cut and cover. Used for shallow tunnels, cut and cover construction involves excavating a trench, building the tunnel structure within it, and backfilling. Tunnel jacking. Tunnel jacking, or pipe jacking, is used for small diameter tunnels. It involves pushing precast tunnel sections through the ground to create the tunnel as they advance. Box jacking. Box jacking is a method for constructing rectangular tunnels by pushing precast box segments through the ground. It is suitable for creating tunnels for pedestrian walkways and utility corridors. Horizontal directional drilling. HDD is a trenchless method for tunneling beneath obstacles like roads and rivers. It entails drilling a pilot hole and enlarging it to create a tunnel. Utilities such as water and gas lines are often installed using HDD. Auger boring. Auger boring utilizes a rotating auger to excavate soil and create tunnels. It is often used for installing utility pipelines under roadways. Sequential excavation or new Austrian tunneling method. SEM NATM is a flexible tunneling method suitable for various ground conditions. It involves excavating the tunnel in stages, providing initial support with shotcrete and rock bolts, and adjusting the design as excavation progresses. Shield tunneling. Shield tunneling uses a shield or casing to support and protect the tunnel face during excavation. It is commonly used for subway and underground transit systems. Supports in tunnels. Tunnels require support systems to maintain their stability, especially in rock or unstable soil. Structural supports. Rock bolts. Long threaded rods anchored into the surrounding rock to reinforce and prevent rockfalls or collapses. Steel sets and ribs. Structural steel elements placed within the tunnel to provide stability, especially in soft ground or weak rock conditions. Lining rings. Precast concrete segments forming the tunnel's inner lining, offering structural support and stability. Steel arch supports. Steel arches installed within the tunnel to distribute loads and provide structural stability. Ground stabilization techniques. Shotcrete and rockcrete. Sprayed concrete or concrete applied to tunnel surfaces to provide immediate structural support and prevent rock dislodgement. Ground improvement. Techniques like grouting, soil nailing, and ground freezing to stabilize the surrounding ground and prevent deformation. Rib and board supports. Timber boards placed between timber ribs to support tunnel walls temporarily during excavation. Protective measures. Waterproofing and corrosion protection. Waterproof membranes and corrosion-resistant coatings applied to the tunnel lining to protect against water infiltration and corrosion. Steel mesh and rockfall netting. Installed to catch falling rocks and debris, protecting the tunnel lining from damage. Reinforced materials. Fiber-reinforced shotcrete. Shotcrete with added fibers for enhanced tensile strength and crack resistance. Cable supports. Anchored cables, such as rock cable bolts, to provide additional reinforcement and support. Lining of tunnels. Tunnel lining is crucial for preserving the tunnel structure, preventing water infiltration, and ensuring long-term functionality. Concrete linings. Common in hydraulic tunnels, concrete linings provide a durable and smooth interior surface, minimizing friction and enhancing hydraulic efficiency. Reinforced concrete linings. For high-pressure or aggressive environments, reinforced concrete linings offer enhanced strength and long-term durability. Shotcrete lining. Shotcrete is used for tunnel repair or rehabilitation, 
providing a protective layer and helping maintain hydraulic performance. Tile or brick linings. In older tunnels, ceramic tiles or bricks were commonly used for lining. These materials offer durability and resistance to abrasion. Dive into hydraulic tunneling efficient water transport. Hydraulic tunnels play a critical role in safely and effectively transporting water for various purposes such as irrigation, drinking water supply, and hydroelectric power generation. Project-specific solutions. Each hydraulic tunnel project requires careful consideration of geometrical shapes, hydraulic design, tunneling methods, support systems, and lining materials to meet specific requirements. Building the future. Hydraulic tunnels engineering marvels. Hydraulic tunnels showcase the ingenuity of modern engineering, bringing water to communities and enabling sustainable development. Powering the world. Hydraulic tunnels are vital components of hydroelectric power plants, harnessing the force of moving water to generate clean and renewable energy. Nurturing the land. Through irrigation systems, hydraulic tunnels support agricultural activities by delivering water to crops, promoting food security and economic growth. So this much for today. We will come again with new video, till then keep on watching our videos. Thank you.